Ice Cube has announced that last Friday is in development at Warner Brothers finally getting some traction. This is from Complex, written by Brad Collis. It says a fourth installment in the Friday franchise is finally in the works at Warner Brothers. Ice Cube announced the news in a recent interview on Flavor Flav's Sirius XM show, Flavor of the Week. We finally got some traction with Warner Brothers, Cube explained. They have new leadership. My man Mike DeLuca, who used to be at New Line Cinema when I first started, when I did the first Friday in Players Club and all about the Benjamins, Mike DeLuca was there, so now he's running Warner Brothers. He added Mike DeLuca was there right so now he's running Warner Brothers and and him and my man Mike Ruber was like, yo, what the fuck is going on with Friday? Man, let's get this shit back online. Ice Cube reiterated his past frustration with Warner Brothers, saying the studio took so long to get on track. He said that while the company was dicking around, not doing the movie, they were losing people, citing Friday actors John Weatherspoon, Tiny Zeus Lester, and Anthony Johnson, all of whom passed away within the past five years. A little years. hot, because they had took, took so long, he said. Because John Witherspoon passed away, Tiny passed away, AJ Johnson passed away. Man, we keep losing people. We're losing recipes. Y'all keep dicking around, not doing the movie the way it need to be done. Cube concluded they want to do it, but the key is it's gotta be done, he said. So they finally came to their senses. The news arrives more than a year after Cube called out Warner Brothers for holding up a fourth Friday film during a 2023 conversation with TMZ. Warner Brothers is weird right now, Cube shared. I don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. We'd love to have it back. I think it's going to be close to a time when we get it back. So we'll either wait for that time or we'll keep trying to convince them that they need to let us control the movie. It's my movie, but they have distribution control. Last January, Cube was speaking to TMZ in that conversation, and he asked to sh uh, he was asked to shed light on the situation concerning Warner Brothers' control over the rights for Friday. When asked if a new Friday film was a lost cause, Cube responded, no, never, he said, before calling on Warner Brothers to do the right thing. The first Friday film hit theaters in 1995 with Cube, Chris Tucker, Nia Long, Bernie Mac, Lester Jr., Witherspoon, Regina King, Faison Love, and Anna Marie Horsford. And two sequels followed, 2000's Next Friday, including Mike Epps, and 2002's Friday After Next, including Terry Crews and Cat Williams. All right, there's a lot there, man. Um, I am super happy to hear that we're finally moving forward on this film. Um, I think the only thing that gets me a little nervous is both A, what Cube mentioned, if we're being honest, obviously Cube um, and Epps uh, as Craig and Dede really are like the main protagonists. But there is something to be said about supporting characters that just genuinely bring stuff together. Um, we've done movies without Debo, so that's fine. But not having Pops, not having John Witherspoon, that's really hard. Um, he really was what felt like the, the heartbeat of the franchise. Now, that doesn't mean it can't be done. Like, don't get me wrong, but it is something that I know that I'm concerned about. I was talking with my group chat about this, man, and just how we would love to see the movie. But then you also got to throw into the fact consideration that, again, 2002 for Friday After Next and Craig and Day Day were in like their 20s. So we're now talking 22 years later. So they would be, you know, 40s, 50s. Um, so it'll be interesting to kind of see what they do with that. Is it this last Friday with them? Is one of them sick? Is that what that's going to are we going to end up following like their kids? You know what I mean? And and uh, truthfully, while I wouldn't necessarily hate that, kind of like the Bad Boys franchise that I've talked about before, it's about the connection between, you know, uh, uh, Mike Lowry and Marcus. It's the same thing. It's a connection between Craig and Day Day. So I don't necessarily want to follow the kids. Like if they have kids at this point, it wouldn't be terrible. And I'm sure there's some really funny actors and comedians that, that would step up, but People want to see this because they want to see Ice Cube and Mike do their thing. And he, maybe even Chris Tucker, if he agrees to come back. It sounds like he probably won't. But I'm curious what you think. Are you on the same page? Do you feel that way? Or do you feel a little bit differently? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you feel. Okay.